There guys, just thought I'd do a real quick video. Uh, the boot on my inner pot joint started to crack, so I thought, right, time for a new one. I'm actually doing a new engine swap at the minute anyway, so I'll have the shafts out anyway. So what you need to do is you need to undo your hub nut, uh, withdraw your outer CV with shaft and inner pot. Um, you can just cut the rubber boot here and leave the outer pot shells on the gearbox. There's no point splitting that. <clears throat> Pardon me. No point splitting that and losing all your gearbox oil slash engine oil. So this is what we're looking at. We've just cut the old rubber boot off. She would be on about there. Cut that off. This is what we're left with. So my shafts are painted black. Now if we look carefully, this inner part is part of the drive shaft. And then this part here is actually raised. Let's see if we can see that. There we go. There's a raised shoulder. So from the top of this raised sh shoulder back is actually part of the inner pot joint. Inside there is a surclip that we need to shock off. The surclip is holding the inner pot to the splines of the drive shaft. To get the inner pot off the shaft we have to shock the surclip into shrinking and then opening again. So to do that what you do is you get a drift or in my case a solid bar and you place it on the shoulder just there and then you hit the end of it with a hammer. Now for obvious reasons I'm not going to be able to show you that unless I got myself a GoPro so anyone wants to sponsor me certainly give me a shout so I'm just going to pause now and give that a wee tap. Okay so we've just hit the raised ridge there give it one good sharp blow and we've moved by three four mil so what you now need to do is just continue hitting that but what I really wanted to do was give you a quick video so you can see where the actual parting is. A lot of people don't know where to hit. Some people start hitting on this hollow. Some people hit, start hitting on this shoulder here which will actually damage the inner pot joint. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit on the shoulder of this large part here. So you continue hitting that off. Okay so we've completely hit it off and as you can see you can see the splines and then this is the little C-clip that I was talking about, so that's the opening of the C. So by hitting it hard, it compresses that C. And this is the end of the inner pot. So there's the splines. So that was once on like that. Okay, so all you need to do now is put your new rubber boot over the end, on down. There we go, that's her. And then fit this on. It's a good idea to put a bit of a wee dab of copper grease just on these splines. Uh, not bearing grease, but copper grease. Uh, let's see. There's a wee tub there, copper grease. My tub's actually been run over by the car. So this will just have to do. Oh, by the way, here's another project that I'm going to be working on shortly. Uh, I'm going to put a B18C4 Honda Civic engine into this one. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. That engine there is a 1275 about to go into the green mini. It was previously a 1 litre, 998. So back to the topic at hand. So you want to hammer that back on. It'd be a good idea to maybe put a bit of a block of wood there to avoid damaging this. So I'll do that now. Okay, so there we go. That's the end tapped back on. Now this uh, inner boot, you want to fold back out on itself like this. Can be slightly tricky. Don't be afraid to use some force. So there we go. So that's the boot peeled back. Now what you want to do is you want to slide this part here right up to this uh, indented shoulder. There we go. That's a slid right up there. And then you want to put your cable tie around there. Once the cable tie is done up nice and tight, you can then refit it to the car. Okay, so you can see I've put the cable tie on and I've trimmed uh, the excess off there. So what I'm going to do now is peel the boot forward over this. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go, sorry about that. So that's been peeled forward. And then all you do is you put your shafts back through.
back through that hole and then into your gearbox and then the other end through the bottom of your discs. But just for easy demonstration, here's the engine out of the car. So all you do is you put that in like that and then you peel this back and then there will be a sachet of uh, the appropriate grease and you pour that in there, just the one sachet, no more, no less. And then you work that up over the lip. There we go. And then cable tie. Or use your metal straps if you have one. And that'll be that done. Hope you find that helpful. Uh, next video will hopefully be this uh, 1275 running in the green mini. Next project. That'll be fun. All the best now. Bye-bye.